let's look at direct proportion. So this is where we have two variables where as one variable increases, the other also increases. So the example says the distance D an athlete runs is directly proportional to the cube of the amount of water they drink in the past month W. When D equals 1000, W equals to 5, find an equation linking D and W. So the idea here is that we can first make an equation linking the two variables, in this case D, which equals to some multiple of the cube of W. So in this case, we'll call that multiple K and now we're going to multiply this by the cube of W, since D and the cube of W are directly proportional. Now this multiple K is called the constant of proportionality. And so the idea is that we're now going to work out what K is by using the information in the question. So we're told that when D equals 1000, W equals to 5. And so we can substitute this into this equation now. Putting this in, we get that 1000 equals to k multiplied by 5 cubed and 5 cubed is equal to 125 so we can write this as 1000 equals to k times 125 and now dividing both sides by 125 this then gives us that 8 equals to k and so the equation linking d and w is now given by d equals to Instead of writing k, we can now write 8 and then times w cubed. And just to note, to show that d and w cubed are directly proportional, we could also write the proportional relationship as d and then this symbol which means proportional to w cubed. And so this tells us that d and w cubed are proportional to each other. And the next example says y is directly proportional to the square root of x when y equals 15, x equals 9, find y when x equals 36. So what we're going to do first is we're going to write down the relationship between y and the square root of x using the proportional symbol. So this is that y is directly proportional to the square root of x. And so if these two variables are proportional to each other, we can now set up an equation to show this, which is given by y equals some multiple, which we'll call k, multiplied by the square root of x, where k is called the constant of proportionality. Now since we're told that when y equals 15, x equals 9, we can now substitute this in. We end up with 15 equals to k multiplied by the square root of 9. And the square root of 9 is equal to 3, so we then get that 15 equals to k times 3, which is 3k. And so k equals to 5 if we divide both sides by 3. Since we've worked out the value of k now, we can substitute this back into this equation. So we now get that y equals to 3 multiplied by the square root of x. And the question now asks us to find y when x equals to 36. So if we substitute x equals 36 into this equation, we end up with y equals 3 times the square root of 36. And the square root of 36 is equal to 6. So we get y equals 3 times 6, which is 18. And this is our final answer. And another way of thinking about direct proportion is that if we have two variables x and y, then as x increases, y should also increase. So we should end up with a relationship that looks something like this. And k is called the constant of proportionality. And this symbol means is proportional to. And this is what we need to know for direct proportion.